this is a special episode of Cop on Cops. Hell, the show never even got to episode one. We taped it, but in the end, the studio audience got out of hand, and we canned the episode. Then, because the, the public is so civilized, is what it comes down to, we just filled the audience with men and women from law enforcement. But then a few officers got text messages that the other officers had slept with their wives. So, they made the right call, and one half of the audience arrested the other half. And because this happened during live show taping, we had to can the episode again. Anyway, welcome to Cop on Cops, the show that takes a look at what really happens behind the blue line. My name is Officer Steve Poppet. I'm a patrol officer in the Orwell District of New York. I'm a son of a cop who was the son of a cop who was the real son of a bitch, if you know what I mean. Ha <laughs> ha. Cop on Cops is a different kind of show. Law enforcement officers have been getting a bum rap in the media and all over the YouTube and the internet, which is basically a wild west. It's like returning to the dark ages, people. It's a witch hunt going on, and this show intends to clear up the confusion and get people thinking the right way. Okay, so we don't have a studio audience today. We don't have all the fancy clips and interviews. This is just going to be me explaining some things about law enforcement's response to Sandy Hook in 2012. And the stress and shell shock, really, of having to respond to that horrific, horrific tragedy. Sandy Hook. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy Hook. Hook, Sandy Hook. Hook, Hook. Whew. Now, first of all, there's this new video floating around on the YouTube called We Need to Talk About Sandy Hook. More like, we need to get our asses pounded. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It's this trash piece designed to make people think that Sandy Hook was just cops and teachers running around in circles with their heads cut off. Let's get one thing perfectly clear. Sandy Hook went down just like that excellent and totally perfect report says it did. Only a bunch of boobs that could stand to do some hard time would put some crazy story out there that this was all a scam. It wasn't, people. And don't you believe it. And don't you watch that video. That pornographic, drugged out, hippie, twisted documentary. It's 25 hours long, by the way. Yeah, it's 25, 25 hours long to brainwash you. And they say at the start, don't go to the bathroom during this video. So you're going to wind up pissing all over yourself if you try to watch this thing. Alright, back to Sandy Hook itself. There's been a lot of talk about Lieutenant Paul Vance and the press conference where he orders everyone to stop spreading nonsense on the internet and calling up everyone pretending to be him. And I know why so many people were calling up people pretending to be him. It's because he's the perfect gentleman. An expert marksman, he's handsome. He's like the perfect man who would never dress up like a woman. And he would never get dolled up like a freak and create accounts on those gay sex websites where men do, you know, get together to do sick things. They're jealous, basically. And people need to understand, when investigators are doing their thing, civilians need to shelter in place, turn out the lights, don't make too much noise, and stay away from telephones or the internet until they say otherwise. And this goes for the whole United States, not just the local area. And to question Lieutenant Vance or why he gave those orders, or to talk about the investigation with your buddies at work, it's disrespectful. And it can get you put in jail. Other people have questioned why the officers at the scene didn't let all these EMTs and all the parents, the Pope, and Ronald McDonald into the school when there was a standoff with a dangerous and really scary-looking shooter in the school at that time. You know, maybe because it was a dangerous scene and all the officers didn't want that blood on their hands? I mean, come on, people. I don't know what the problem is anyway. Two of the officers peeked into the classrooms and saw everyone was all shot up like hamburger and made the call that everyone was dead. Some of those kids didn't even have heads anymore. That psycho Lanza just blasted them into a pile of goo. They say at least some EMTs should have been allowed in to check each and every kid one at a time, like they were going to do a better job or something. Hey, I've declared lots of people dead. I can do it just by glancing at them. You know what it's like when someone's alive, right? So, you can bet when they're dead, they don't look or act like that. They lay there. Sometimes their muscles might move a little bit, or they have gas might escape that 
can sometimes sound like, please help me, or I'm not dead. You know, but just turn the head real quick and give them a quick glance. And if they're laying around like bums, then they're dead. End of story. Okay, I want to wrap up this special episode of Cop on Cops with an endorsement. Our whole department has just fallen in love with, and we've given our full support to this group called the Honor Network. Yeah, they're just the perfect example of what this disgusting country needs. What they do is they look around on the net for shenanigans, and, you know, like that foul documentary by those communist hippies, and when they find some crap like that, they take it down and send them a note that says they're going to get sued. They're going to wind up in court if they keep it up. they got great guys over there. One of them is the father of one of the victims. I've had some guy time with a couple guys, C.W. Wade and Keith Johnson. Now, there's two guys that know what we're up against. And I told them, if you catch any of these punks trying to share more of that communist propaganda, to just give me a call. And I'll introduce him to Sweet Lady Nightstick. Lieutenant Vance called me up just the other day, saying there were people getting into it on C.W. Wade's private, personal website that he relies on for his family. I mean, that's just how bad things are. So, I'll end by saying thank you, Honor Network, C.W. Wade, Keith Johnson, and guys over at the CIA clandestine operations, and the rest of you, you know who you are. That's it for episode for this episode of Cop on Cops. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tell a friend to watch. Be respectful of the law enforcement personnel that protect you each and every day. And we'll see you next time.